Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today, by request, we are taking a look at a brand new band called Beat, who's playing not brand new music. They're playing King Crimson from the 80s. And in fact, the band includes two members of that group, uh, Adrian Ballou and Tony Levin. So, of course, Tony Levin is the stick player or the bass player, bass, you know, whatever hap- the song happens to be. Adrian Ballou is a very influential guitar player. He used to play with Zappa before he played with King Crimson. Why does this not surprise me? <laughs> yeah, and I think he also collaborated with the Talking Heads on some of their key stuff. I think he did, yeah. Yeah, so, so he's an important figure. Steve Vai is in the Robert Fripp position. Yes. And uh, he did a lot of <laughs> practicing for this. Uh, and there are interviews out there, maybe we'll take a look at one of those in the future, about how he prepared. But the reviews are good. And the drummer is from Tool, Carey. Danny Danny Carey. We haven't done Tool yet either. We should probably find a Tool track to do. Folks, if you have a particular Tool song you think we should listen to, let us know. So we're looking at the opening track, them playing it. And by the way, we you know there were some conversations had and some research done to make sure that this would be okay and safe from Robert Fripp. And we think it probably is, because he is but one writer of this song, Elephant Talk, that we're going to look at today. And it's a completely different group that doesn't include him. So we think we're probably safe. (laughs) It can be tricky doing King Crimson. You never know. You know, yeah, exactly. Manual strikes can happen. You know, not just the Eagles, (laughs) but also Robert Fripp. Anyway, we really wanted to check this out. Apparently, this is their first show playing together. This is in San Jose on September 12th. So just a few weeks ago. So Adrian, do you have any thoughts ahead before we dive into this? I'm looking forward to it. I I remember the song. Let's go ahead and see how they conquered this beast.
It's as good as I remember it. It's an amazing performance of a classic. Yeah. Guy on guitar and Adrian Ballou on the elephant. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, some interesting electronics he had there. He got some pretty interesting sounds in there. So back in the day, of course, I bought this album, which is Discipline. This is the uh, home album for Elephant Talk. It's the opening track on here. In my view, this is the last truly great album that King Crimson produced. I also bought this Adrian Blue album back then, and this is filled with those experimental sounds that we just heard him play on guitar. This came out, I believe, in the wake of uh, King Crimson reforming, oh, oh, 1986, okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, so this is a little bit after, I guess, the first incarnation. They may have stopped after three of a perfect pair. What happened was they released three albums in the early 80s, and this was the first one with the red motif, and then there was a, uh, a one with a blue, kind of a pale blue motif that was called Beat, which is the name of this group which makes sense. And then uh, there was a yellow one called Three of a Perfect Pair. They all kind of had the same aesthetic quality, you know, the solid color and all, and they were all of a piece. But I think this red one is the best one. So yeah, I think they did a stupendous job, and it's great to hear that music. I know that I've bought a few live CDs that came out during the 2010s, and they were fantastic. You know, Live in Chicago was one of them, you know, just for reference. And had a lot of the original guys back from the early bands, and they were just playing the early incarnation of King Crimson, in other words, those first, whatever it was, eight albums or so, up through Red. Um, and that's where it stopped. You know, you didn't really hear much after that, if I recall correctly. So it's it's nice that the music is out and getting played. So many years later, I, I know that there's a lot of people that are happy to hear this music. Yeah, I'm just amazed to hear Steve Vai play it, too. He really made it his own. Yeah. His guitar solo. Yeah, he did. Definitely interested in hearing a little bit more of their set list. So maybe we'll check something else out in the future. It would be nice to find something that's really high quality. Folks, tell us what you thought of this clip and what you think of the whole concept of going out and playing these early 80s Crimson classics, and especially with two of the original band. You know, Bill Bruford has long since retired. He was the drummer, by the way. And, of course, Robert Fripp was the guitar player at the time. They've, they've got uh, very good musicians in there. Yeah, so with that, folks, why don't you let us know what you thought of this? And if you were a fan of the original three albums, if you ever saw King Crimson during that incarnation, and just just by the by, whether you've seen them at all in concert at any point in their career, yeah, just give your thoughts. Leave comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right, thanks so much for joining us, and we will catch you on the next one. All right, take care, folks. See you all later.